1812 war was a result of many things which will later be explained. The war began with an American attack on Canada to both take land and hinder trade routes. The battlefront then moved south on to Chesapeake Bay in 1814, which then moved forward on to Washington despite the efforts of General Winder. Once there, the British troops burned down a good portion of the non-residential area, including the White House. The war then moved on to Baltimore, where the war stayed until the end in February of 1815, with the Treaty of Ghent. Justifications Number 1. Just Cause The main causes of the war were British support of Indian Americans and a British naval humiliation, as well as many other disputes between the two countries. Number 2. Declaration of War On June 1st of 1812, the current president, James Madison, had his Congress send a message for counting American grievances against Great Britain. The message was not meant to be a declaration of war, however, shortly after, the House of Representatives voted on this first declaration of war, to which both House and Senate agreed to. The conflict officially began by declaration on June 18th of 1812, when James Madison signed the measure into the Number 3. Proper Intentions The intentions of the war were to gain land, not kill. However, in the end, the opposite occurred. Number 4. Last Resort during the preliminary stages of the war, many of the people that supported the peaceful resolution with America were punished and or killed, including the Prime Minister who was assassinated by supporters of the war. There was also a proclamation that ensured that anyone suspected to support America would be arrested. Number 5. Chance of Success Neither side was truly ready for a war because the onset of a war was so sudden. At the moment of the declaration, Great Britain was involved with other wars in Portugal and Spain and were left with only 6,034 soldiers in Canada. On the American side, Andrew Jackson had hastily assumed that he would easily take Canada and the negotiations would occur later for the fact that his military was not currently occupied. This gave him the advantage of having more than double the military power, with over 35,000 soldiers. 6. Collateral Damage the war was simply a war based off two countries disagreeing to such an extent that war seemed to be the only answer. It did nothing to stop suffering and resulted in 22,000 deaths with no result other than the agreement at the conclusion of the war. It's difficult to determine whether or not a war is just because a just war is not a defined term. It's a gray zone as opposed to black or white. So you can't really determine just because it has some aspects of being just and unjust. However, I was able to find this war just.